in part one of the series, we dug out my winter wardrobe and went through it. And this video has everything. It has a thrift haul and a try-on session. It has Peter Pan collars, gunny sax dresses, a shit ton of women's workwear, boo-boo goofin, I'm sure there's something else. But today I will show you the final product of my closet declutter for that winter van life thrifted minimalist wardrobe. Ugh. I went to some of my favorite boutiques downtown Rapid that have a focus on vintage clothes and they're all within walking distance of each other so that's nice. kept finding better and better stuff so by the end of it I ended up with a pretty sizable haul plus I ordered a few things off of Depop that I have been keeping an eye on so I'd call this a success. Howdy. So I'm basically bullying myself this evening to actually hem the shit that I said I would when I bought it. I'm gonna actually do it this time instead of lying to myself, but I don't want to do it. Uh, what's kind of funny about these pants is it looks like someone's already attempted to do that. I was trying it on and I really, there's still a fucking pin left in it. They didn't, ow, they didn't even bother <laughs> to actually uh, sew it. Makes me suspect that we're all like this and that's kind of comforting. Step one, wipe off the dog hair from the sewing machine. Also, if learning to thread your sewing machine is holding you back from sewing, watch a video because it's really, I'm not a genius. And I learned it once and never forgot and pretty much every machine is the same. I don't know that I've sewn on a total of three, three machines, but I said that with confidence. And I'm just gonna kinda like... Ooh. <laughs> okay, I think I can. I can keep going. What's going on with this butt? Ah! There's no way. There's absolutely no way these are gonna fit right. Okay, I wanna... Don't look, you guys. Not mad. They're not perfect, but I'm gonna bust that. Okay. Second pair of pants. How the hell do you turn this thing off? Okay, I think uh the I was feeling overconfident because the first pair of pants went pretty decent and then I somehow managed to sew the sewing machine into the hem. This is for sure the most things I've gotten at one time in a long time. I started to panic a little bit because in the middle of it, I was like, oh god, this reminds me a lot of when I was in my young 20s and I would just like blow my whole paycheck on clothes, but it was my birthday and 
know, now that I'm not focusing so heavily on, I actually have a disposable income for once. There's someone outside. So first off, I got this little, I don't know, ugly floral sweater. It's super heavy, I love it. Okay, so I am playing with necklines with my short hair. Cause I'm really into like the Mia Pharaoh look. I am such a sucker for little boys cardies. This is a really nice heavy wool. I did find a little white button up and I love that it's slim fit. I love that it's long. So we'll see if the whole tool pink dress shirt vision comes together and if it doesn't I'm really happy with this anyways and we'll wear it. So my friend Alicia went with me. She tried this on and didn't get it because it has like a little hole on it. I'm a sucker for Peter Pan collars but she tried it on didn't get it and it haunted me through the night so I end up going back a week later and getting it myself and this I'm on the fence about just because I'm not sure if it'll work with my skin tone. Going back to the necklines, like it looks so cute with my little pixie. This is a gunny sacks dress and I have been finding them at that boutique I showed in the intro for $20. These retail on online for anywhere between like 200 and 800 depending on the style and I have no reason to keep this but I couldn't pass it up. It's so cottage core and whimsical. Okay, so before I go on to the trousers, I just wanna to touch on the skinny jean personal identity crisis I had. I, I definitely is that millennial. Getting clothes as a form of self-expression. I lost my train of thought. I kind of rejected it, way overthinking about it. Utility boots, a personal sense of peace. It's just fucking pants. I kind of see jeans, pants, pant shapes, materials more as tools in your closets for certain looks instead of what's trendy, what's not trendy. So I'm really glad I explored different shapes. I love these trousers. And I think they're just a lot more playful, so. I was really, really looking for a cigarette style pant, and I love that they're kind of like, something my grandma would wear. I don't really want to keep hanging these up, so. I'm sorry. This was a Depop purchase. I'll link the seller because she has amazing pants and her selection is great and she responded to me within 10 minutes when I wanted to bundle an order. Depop is becoming one of my favorite platforms to buy off of. These wool pants, I took a big gamble on them. They're a little bit more than I would buy lined online, but this waistline is amazing. Plus they're just like, they're fun, heavy wool pant for winter, so. From one of the other Depop sellers I've been following, I saw this. I love those kind of like vintage, close to the collar necklaces that are kind of a statement piece. And I like wearing them with collars. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Just for reality's sake, I felt like I was missing a few basics and I already had a rant about finding basics. And did I have a rant about finding basics? I did try doing basics from Poshmark and I just ended up getting a shipment of raggedy ass bras that literally would like fall off of my body and like the straps would like break in the middle of the day. And it's not like I'm busting out of a bra normally. I don't like getting basics secondhand. So considering that like, I don't know, 90, 85% of my closet is thrifted or from sustainable or ethical sources. I give myself a little bit of leeway. It is unrealistic to do 100% of your clothing ethically overnight, especially for like normal working people who don't have an insane budget to buy tees from Everlane or whatever. I know I talk a lot of shit about Target, but I'm really into socks and stockings right now to go with my sweater dresses. And And lastly, I wasn't expecting to find the perfect cowboy boot, but here we are. 
I saw these at the last store I went to where I pretty much spent all my birthday money. I saw them, I was like, these better not be my size. They came home with me. Sometimes you fall in love at really inconvenient times. Okay. Is. I always love like vintage camera bags as purses. Oops. This makes me feel like I would have been a mean girl at the Stranger Things High School. There's like people loading kegs outside right now and they just have to overhear my like sad fashion show with the bus right now. Does this work? Is this a thing that I can do? New boots. I don't know. I used to be like a little emo kid. I don't know how I got so into like western wear. I'm on board with the trousers. They feel so nice and what's nice is they let this area breathe. I feel like it's constantly like sliding down. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm used to leggings where everything's like This was my birthday outfit to go eat tacos in. I feel so fucking French with this outfit. They're like a little bit too much but casual at the same time. I think this kind of works. The only thing I would change is maybe just like a lighter tight. Honestly, I need your feedback because I don't get out often, so let me know if it's a hit or a miss or like how else you would style this tool top. I love this. I do think I want to hem it and just didn't have time before this video to be like a little bit shorter, but I feel very much like Beth in the Queen's Gambit in this little dress. Howdy. Seriously, this gunny sack dress. Hello, I'm Florence and here are my machines. <laughs> Why am I not living a life where I can wear this anywhere? I don't think I can hang on to this for practical reasons, so I will either put a link to get this off of Depop in the description, or I'm sure I'll make a post about it on Instagram. This could be yours. This is my hanging around by the fire outfit. God, I love just like pajama shorts and stockings. Oh, oh. Oops. All right, I'm ready to get weird. Pa pow pow. Ooh. While this is decorative, it's also practical because a mouse got into the front of the bus and ate through my brand new Patagonia sweater. There's also a hole right here that I've been meaning to fix the pocket on that. This is my I'm going foraging in the woods look. And just for good measure, I gotta show this coat again because ooh, is amazing. This is like an outfit on its own. I just got these and love them and haven't even had a chance to wear them, but I'm gonna put them in my storage tote. But I can guarantee you I'm gonna be so goddamn delighted to see them because I will. 100% forget about them through the winter. Even though these are long sleeves, I decided to store them until next spring and summer just because they're not very warm. And I'm kind of at that point where I'm no longer willing to shiver just because an outfit is cute. And I also have these kind of like non-seasonal specific items, but I really don't wear them in the winter so there's no really point in having them take up drawer space. It deeply pains me to put these away for the winter. These are these gorgeous flared wranglers, but I see them mostly as a summer pant because they're um, I just don't think I'll wear 
flared jeans with any of the sweaters I got. It always comes back to the boots issue. I don't really have any warm shoes I'd wear with this, so. All my muscle tees. I decided to switch out the waffle knit sweater for the pink sweater I said I was going to donate. I was kind of waiting till I got my pants in to commit to which sweaters I wanted. I don't know. While the waffle knit is giving me like academia vibes with this plaid pant, I think the light pink scoop neck is a little bit more versatile and works with most of my pants. I'm starting to realize there's kind of a theme of shirts that I buy from Depop, Poshmark, where it falls short of expectations, either because of the fit, color, and it's starting to feel like I'm gambling with my money at this point. Because of that, I think I'm just going to keep doing most of my shopping in person to make sure it fits and I like it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This kind of turned into a monster of a video because it ended up being like 20 different concepts instead of just like a vintage haul or like a Midwest workwear wardrobe. I am so happy to have a wardrobe that I think is like really fun and functional and has like a lot of outfits but still really minimal. It all fits in my space, which is amazing. I gotta go to the propane store. So I think I'm gonna wear my flannel, my flannel jacket for that. That's like a propane store outfit, right? Okay.